Mourinho. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome once again for Mathematics uh, Form 2. Today we are going to look on our lesson 4. And we are still on cubes uh, and cube roots. Uh, maybe I take you back to what we did uh, during our last lessons. Uh, we started with a cube. And I told you that we have two main methods that we use uh, to look for cube of numbers. So one of the method is the multiplication method. The multiplication method. And uh, we looked at that. Second, uh, we also use the uh, mathematical uh, table uh, to look for the cube of numbers. So we are going to start our lesson by reviewing uh, what we did last. So I asked you with the two questions where you are supposed to uh, use mathematical table uh, to find the cube of the following. Uh, number one, number one, uh, you are supposed to look for the cube of 1,623. That is now using the using the mathematical table. That is 1,623. So we said that one of the advantages of uh, using the mathematical table uh, to look for the cube of numbers is that uh, you can look for the cube of a very, very big uh, number. And uh, such a number, if you are to use the wrong method or the multiplication method, it will be very tiresome. So, the mathematical table helps uh, in that. So, we, we look at the first one. So, you are supposed to use the uh, mathematical table to look for the cube of that number. As I told you earlier on, what you are supposed to do, step one, you rewrite the number in uh, standard form. So, this one becomes 1.6, 10 to power. I find that if you move from this direction, you are going to move for uh, three steps. And remember, it is uh, the cube of that. It is the cube of that. Uh, the next step after that is uh, you open. You open the bracket. You open the bracket, and this one becomes 1.623 uh, uh, cubed uh, times 10. I told you what you are supposed to do at this step. Uh, remember here you have 10 to power 3, then that to power 3. You multiply out the uh, powers, you multiply out the powers, whereby if you take 3 multiplied by 3, uh, you get 9. Uh, uh, you get 9 like that. Then from there, uh, you can get the cube of this number uh, from the mathematical table. And I told you if you are using the red test edition of mathematical table, cubes are found on page. Uh, 25. So we go to page 25 and we look for the cube of 1.623. Uh, so on the x column, on the x column, you go down up to here you have 1.6. So from there, uh, what follows there is uh, number 2. So from 1.6, where we have 1.6, as you can see, uh, you go up to where you have number two on the on the this row, the topmost row here. Uh, you go to where you have uh, number two, and therefore you check that value that is corresponding to 1.6 from the x column and two. And as you can see, that number is 4.252. So 4.252. But we are not done uh, because we have this three here. And that fourth value, for that fourth digit, we usually look for its value, the value that you added to this number on these numbers, that the ones on the additional uh, column. So still on the same row of 1.6. Still on the same row of 1.6. Uh, you go across up to the other side, up to where you have uh, three. And the number corresponding to three is uh, 24. The command up there says you add. So we are going to add 24. We are going to add uh, 24 here. So we add uh, 24 and the 2 plus 4 gives us 
6. That one gives us 7. That is 2. 4. So we get 4.276. Not forgetting to multiply it by 10 to power 9. So you have 9 zeros like that. And the answer that we get is going to be, so for these three decimal places, we are going to cancel with that. So we get 4, 2, uh, 7, 6. And that is the answer uh, that you are supposed uh, to get in that particular uh, question. Uh, the other question, the other question, I left you with the two questions. The other one was, find the cube of uh, 0, Point zero zero uh, uh, four two. So still, just like this case, you start by writing the number in uh, standard form, and this one gives us uh, four point two uh, times ten to power negative. That is from there one two three to power negative three. Remember, it is cubed. So opening the bracket, you get four point two cubed uh, times ten to power negative uh, nine like that. So from the mathematical table, uh, we can easily get the value of uh, 4.2 uh, cubed. So from the x column, still you go down up to where you have uh, 4.2, 4.2, and you can see uh, the value is 74.09. So 74, 74. Point zero 0.09 so multiply by 10 to power negative 9 so in this case you are going to divide and uh, those are 9 zero. so from here we count 9 steps so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and our decimal point is going to be at that point so our answer is going to be 0. Uh, 0.00 uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 7, 4, uh, 0, 9. That's what you're supposed to get. And I want to believe that uh, uh, you got it right. And you, if you never did, I want to believe that you, are go, you have rectified uh, where you went wrong. So let's now look at our today's lesson. So during our, our current lesson, we are now going to look at uh, cube roots. We are going to look at cube roots. Now that you know what is a cube and how you to go about a cube or how to look for a cube of a number, let's now look at cube roots. I'm going to explain to you what is the cube root. Remember, we said cube is whereby you are given a number, then to get the cube of that number, you multiply that number by itself thrice or three times. Now, cube root is like the reverse. Now, you already have the number in cube form, so you get that number that you multiply itself by three to get that cube number. So, it's like the reverse. So, if you have like uh, two numbers, which are non-zero, let's say you have A and B. Let's take them as two and zero numbers. And they are such that, they are such that A cubed is equals to B. These two numbers are such that A cubed uh, is equals to B. So this one implies that, this one implies that uh, A is equals to cube root of B. And this is the sign. The sign for cube root is uh, like that. So if you have two numbers, which are non zero, two non zero numbers, that is A and B, whereby A cubed is equal to B, that implies that A is equal to the cube root of B. I want to believe that now you know you have uh, seen what uh, cube root is all about. Let's do a real life example. For example, uh, we connect what we did uh, during our last lesson. We looked for cube of numbers. For example. 2 cubed, 2 cubed, and this one would mean 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, and therefore that one would give us 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, so 2 cubed is equals to, so 2 cubed is equals to 8, 
So this therefore implies that the cube root of 8 is equals to 2. And that is what we call cube root. That's what we call cube root. Now, when it comes to the cube root of numbers, we still have two methods that we can use uh, to find cube root of numbers. There are two methods that you can use to find the cube root of numbers. And we are going to look at them. Let's start by listing the two main methods. So, the two methods that we have when looking for, to look for the cube root of numbers, one uh, is the factor method. We have the uh, factor uh, method. Two, we are still going to use the mathematical table to be able to look for the uh, cube root of numbers. So the other one is the uh, mathematical mathematical tables. So we are going to use those two main methods uh, to look uh, for the cube root of uh, numbers. And definitely without wasting time, we are going to start with our first method there. That is the factor method. So we start with our method number one. So I start with our factor method. And uh, when using the factor method, uh, we find that uh, if a number has an exact cube root, it can be expressed as a product of its uh, prime factors. That is, if a number has an exact cube root, it can be expressed as a product of its prime factors in power 4. So let's take a number like x. Let's say uh, a number, let that number be x. Let x be a number. Now let's look for the cube root of x. So if we want the cube root of x, like that, that's what we would do. Uh, that's how we would find the cube root of x. So I want you to note that cube root of a number, cube root of a number, we implies that number to power uh, that. That is one point you are supposed uh, to understand, that cube root of a number means that number to power a uh, third. So cube root of x is equals to x to power a uh, third. So I'm saying for you to be able to, to, for you to be in a position to use this particular method, the factor method, the given number must be a cube root. So such that it can be expressed as a, a product of its uh, prime factors in power 4. So let's do an example so that you understand what we are saying. And uh, for example, for example, <coughs> uh, let's take find find the cube root of 8. So let that be our example 1. Find the cube root of 8, number 8. So we are saying what we are saying that what we do, we express the number in uh, as a product, we express the number as a product of its uh, prime factors. And in normally, we use the factor tree method. Eh? So we start by expressing 8 as a product of its uh, prime factors. Not forgetting in mind that I've told you that the cube root uh, of a number means uh, that number to power uh, that. That is something that you are supposed, that is supposed to be on your fingertips. So uh, we express eight as a product of its prime factors. Let's use the factor tree method. So eight, uh, the, the smallest number that can divide the eight is two. So two to get four. Uh, we continue like that. The other number that can divide, the smallest number that can divide four is two to get two. So that means 8 is equals to 2 multiplied by 2 or uh, multiplied by 2 like that. So can we express now this one in power form? This one can also be written as 2 to power a third. 2 to power a third. And let's now go back there. I told you that now that we are using, uh, we are looking for the cube root of 8. This one means 8 to power a third. Now, instead of writing 8, we are going to substitute it with 
these two cubed. We're going to substitute our eight with these two cubed. So you come and put two cubed there. Then to remember you're looking for the uh, cube root. Then after that, what do we do? We multiply out the powers. We multiply out the power. So we are going to have three times that and three and three cancels to get one. So what you get is two to power one, which is equals to two. So the cube root of eight is two. And that is how we go about it. That is how we go about it. So let's do another example. Our example two. And our example two, uh, we have a number like, uh, find the cube root using fa a factor method, cube root of 216. So what you're supposed to understand before you even start working out your, 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 your problem is that this implies 216 to power a third. Then the next step, Express 216 as a product of it of its factors. So to use the factor three method, so 216 uh, by two, that one gives us 216 divided by two it gives us 108. Another number that uh, another number that can divide uh, 108 still it's divisible by two because you can see the last factor is even. So two to get 50, uh, four. Two ones more uh, to get uh, 27. Then this one is not divisible by two because you can see the last digit there is an uh, odd number. So we go to three and three can. So three to get a nine and definitely three and three like that. So that means our 216 can be expressed as two multiplied by two multiplied by Two multiply by three, multiply by three, or uh, multiply by three like that. Then uh, right, we now express uh, these factors in power form, and we are going to group them into threes. Remember, our power there is a third. So we take this three like that. So that is two cubed times, and this other one like that, three cubed. So if you work out this two cubed times this three cubed, you still get 216. So we are not changing the value. We are just expressing it in a different way. So instead of uh, writing 216 here, we come and substitute this 216 with two cubed and three cubed. So that means two cubed multiply by three cubed, all these to power are that. So we do what we know best. We multiply out the powers. So if you take a third times three, you get one. So that is two to power one times three times times a third, you still get one. So this one becomes three to power one. And this one is uh, definitely two times three and you get the answer is six. Two times three is six. So that means the cube root of 216 is six. And that is how you use that factor method to root for the cube root of uh, numbers. That marks the end of our lesson, but I'm going to review with some assignment. So let's look at our, at our assignment for today so that we can better uh, our understanding. So use factor method. Use factor method to find the cube root of. Use factor method. Method. Find to find the cube root of a uh, zero point zero zero eight b two thousand seven hundred and uh, forty four. We are going to start by reviewing this assignment uh, during our next uh, lesson. But I won't feel as if it was a lesson if I don't review with our mathematics trivia for today. So our math trivia for today uh, looks like this. So you have some unknowns here. So if you have x, 
plus y uh, equal to 5 kilogram. Then you have x minus, you have z uh, minus x equal to 99 kilogram. Then you have x plus x plus x equals to 12 uh, kilogram. Find, find x plus y plus z. So work out that. And uh, you can send us your answer through our SMS number, double two five one eight. You can also post your answer on our Facebook page, Erimu TV, or you can also use our Twitter handle, Erimu underscore KE. Thank you so much for watching. Let's keep it mathematics.